Tell me your name and tell me the name of your film. My name is Christopher Guerrero and the name of my film is White Guys Solve Sexism. Wow, that yeah. sounds interesting. Yes. <laughs> it's about a whole bunch of like uh, guys who realize that all of their favorite movies are now sexist because of the Harvey Weinstein scandal. All right. Yeah, and then they kind of go crazy. So it's about white guys going insane because of they realize sexism exists. Okay. Yeah. So you directed this? <laughs> yes, it is a comedy. It is not a serious film. <laughs> so I think that's a big part of it. <laughs> and your name? Steph, East Steph Gozalo. And what did you do? Um, I'm just Chris's girlfriend. I'm here for moral support. And well, I've seen him edit the movie a thousand times. And yeah, it's amazing. It's a very important role. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can be his muse. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about the film. You gave me the tagline. Sure. It's a so it's a short film. Um, it's it's starring a couple of uh, BuzzFeed people who are in BuzzFeed. Uh, I used to work at BuzzFeed. Um, it's sort of I'm using the sort of tactics that BuzzFeed uses to sort of like try and expose sexism and how like white men are have overreacted to it and we're completely oblivious it seems until the Me, Me Too movement started. Yeah. So you that's a big raise reason. Awareness. Yeah, raise yeah. awareness for like the fact that like sexism exists and it's been here forever mm -hmm. and that Hollywood is probably one of the biggest places that it does exist and that it's really absurd to like not even realize that it didn't exist before that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want audiences to take away from this other than the obvious of <laughs> raising awareness? Do you really do you think it can affect some change through comedy? Yeah, I think that, you know, that it can and I think it'll just start a conversation and a dialogue and getting people to be like, I didn't realize you know, it's like especially there's a lot of details in the, the thing that he made so many movies. And it's like all of your like a lot of people's favorite directors, a lot of like really amazing people. I mean, it's hard to think of someone he didn't work with. And so it's kind of just mind blowing how long it happened and how long it existed. And I really hope it starts a dialogue saying like, we need to stop this. We need to question the way we act with people. And I think it's just, hopefully it does that. It creates a dialogue in some way. And yeah. how does it feel to have your film at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? Well, so it's funny. This is the first film festival I ever went to. And um, I, my, I was really good friends with the guy who owns Bill's Copy Shop son in college. And he invited me here. And it's kind of just like surreal to kind of walk back in and be like, oh, this is the first film festival I ever went to. And I, got a, I get to have a film in it. So it's, it's really fun. Yeah, it is really exciting. Congratulations. So thank you so much. It's very you. nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you.